H2O is water. But the air that you breathe has water in the air. You see? We breathe water. You are composed, or oh, 90% water? 73% water? My brother, thank you. You see? There's water above and there's water below, and you are water. Water is the essence of life, the foundation principle, you see, of life. You see, in order, the more you know of science, the more God or the, 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 the concept or the, the knowledge of the deity becomes more real, the more you get to understand or understand that nothing is by accident. Nothing is by accident. And the purpose of this is to dispel from amongst our people superstition and let us move forward with right knowledge because the right knowledge will liberate us so that we can really move forward because of the mental shackles upon our minds via white supremacy. Let's just get past the first, second, and third day knowing that an age is an age, 2,166, right? Let's get over to now the fourth day, right? The fourth day. Fifth day, the creation of man, or the man, didn't take place until what day? The sixth day. So you see, everything within the, the, the knowledge of the Elohim and in their wisdom set everything within its foundation, each one preceding the next, and setting the environment perfect for their offspring to inhabit. And why you say their offspring? Remember we were talking before about child of God and stuff like that? Right? But we're talking about offspring. Let's go right here to Genesis 26. And the Elohim said, remember, God ain't got no power to it. That's not what was written in the original translation. And when you keep on saying God, is it going to get people confused? Only going to bring up more debate and more philosophical argument. Because God can be anything or anyone. Anything can be a God. Just like the word love. Love can mean anything. There's nothing more divisive than the word love. What's more divisive than the word love? Everybody got their own thing of what love is. You feel me? Aye, aye. So now, on the sixth day, the Elohim said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So now, if the Elohim, Elohim said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So that means man looked like Elohim. Right? Elohim created man in the image and likeness of the Elohim. And in the image and likeness of the Elohim was man created. And he created what? Male and female. He created them. Bless them. Right? Let's go. Let's read it here. Verse 26. And the Elohim said, or God said, let us make, I'm going to stick with Elohim. God ain't got no power. And it's also to try to confront our mentality so that we can shake off the old wine or the old baggage, and these word sound will evoke genetic memory. Trust me, they will evoke gen genetic memory because we have trillions and trillions and trillions of years of genetic memory. Rastafari, we just ain't come today. We don't have no birth record. There's no birth record for, for us. There is no birth record for we. And the Elohim said, come, let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them, them is plural, so that means man is plural, not singular. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And so God, or the Elohim, created man in his own image. And in the image of the Elohim, he created them, male and female, he created them. Bless them and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Right? Now, let's look into that. 
So now, the Elohim, or God, is, is, is the deity, right? The supreme power. And he made a creation, or they made a creation, that looked just like they do. With all of the rights and the powers that they got. Now what power did the progenitors of man have that its maker didn't have? Nothing, because it was given all the power, the power to rule. He was, this, is, this is not the creation of a servant here. This is not the creation of a slave. You see here, when it said, let us make man in our image after our life, let them have power and dominion. When you have power and dominion, that means you're ruling over the earth in righteousness. You're establishing civilizations, cities. You're establishing temples. You're establishing palaces. These are signs of having power and dominion over the earth. Ailey, you with me so far? So now, bless them and told them to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. That, and there's a footnote on replenish. If, your Bible's, if you have a Bible there, it should have a, a footnote on replenish. And as I said before, replenish means to put forward that which was taken away. So that also alludes to a pre-Adamic race and a pre-Adamic history. There is a pre-history and a pre-knowledge prior to the so-called Garden of Eden, which we haven't even gotten to yet, nor the creation of Adam. Because a lot of us tend to think that what we just talked about right there was Adam. And when you look into Adam, that ain't got nothing to do with Adam. Why do you say that? Well, let's check it out. Now, we're on the sixth day, right? So what was just done on the sixth day? Man was made, and it was made male and female. That means it wasn't made by themselves. A man wasn't made alone. The woman wasn't made alone. They were made perfect complementary. To, as co-rulers. So now, how did the Elohim make a man? The same way that you and your woman makes a man. This very same way. You see? That's how you give birth to another god. There wasn't no scientific operation going on here. This was a natural operation. So you see that the creation was created by the Elohim, established by the Elohim on earth, and was given to their seed or their offspring to inhabit and to rule. And after that was done, all the creation was finished. We're on the sixth day. Right? And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth, verse 29, and every tree in which is the fruit of the tree yielding its seed, and to you it shall be for meat or for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth where there is life, I have given every green herb for meat or food, and it was so. And the Elohim saw that everything that they had made, and behold, it was very good, and evening and the morning were the sixth day or the sixth age. Right? Now you see, Man was made perfect, male and female. And they were also, as you can see here, vegetarians. All the creation within the creation of the Elohim were vegetarian creation. All of the animals were vegetarian. All of the birds, everything was on earth was vegetarian at that time. Within the original creation, according to the Bible. And remember tonight's topic is Adam, Adam, where art thou? So far, 